Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt and I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to clean the 5-Stream 3 still. This is actually the 8-liter per hour system, but the 4-liter by distiller and also the 4-liter system has the same cleaning setup. What you want to do first of all is remove the door. Once you've set that aside, you'll see on the front there's a clean button, an on button. The clean button is what you want to press and your incoming water is going to be on, so you press the clean button. What that does is it takes the solenoid or the drain valve assembly here and shuts it off so that no water comes out of the boilers. So at this point is when you want to go ahead and put in your acid solution. We're going to put our gloves on, our glass safety glasses, and any uh, protection equipment you're going to need to handle your cleaning solution, which is 100 ml of water and 100 ml of hydrochloric acid. We've got a funnel system that comes with the still. You're going to put that in the constant level device, the vent port of the constant level device, and then you're going to pour the 100 ml of acid at 100 ml of water. So 200 ml of the cleaning solution goes into this boiler and 200 into this boiler. So you just take this and put this over to this side once this one's done. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pour that in. Now that we have the cleaning solution poured into each of the boilers, we're going to go ahead and hit the on button. And with the on button, when you press that, water is going to fill up to the constant level device where the thermistor is in each boil in each constant level device. Once it touches that, it senses that there's water. It turns the heating elements on for 90 seconds, and then it shuts the heating elements off. It also shuts the water off so you don't have any of that solution coming out down the drain. Now the only thing that's going to be on at that point is just your clean button. So you're going to let the system sit for about 30 minutes. You don't want to really go too far, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Then you want to go ahead and hit the clean button. You hit the clean button once. What that does is it, it allows the drain valve a solenoid assembly to drain all the solution out down to drain. And then once that's drained out, it times it out for four minutes. Then it refills both boilers again until it hits the thermistor on each one. Then it goes ahead and shuts the, the fill solenoid valves off again. And then it goes ahead and drains the water back out. Then it, once it lets that time out for four minutes, it'll refill it back up again. That's the second fill, that's the flush mode. Then that will go ahead and hit the thermistors at that point, shuts it off, shuts the inlet off, and then it lets it drain back out again. And that's your second flush. So it flushes it twice after you've hit the clean button to let the solution go out. Now that we've actually gone through the two flushes at this point, we're going to go ahead and start to still back up. Before we do that, we need to go ahead and disconnect our distillate tube, pull the cover off the tank, disconnect our distillate tube to the tank, and we want to run this to drain. So about 10 to 20 liters of water run to drain. So your first 10 to 20 liters that you're going to be running this unit, you want to want it to drain. You don't want to run that back into the tank. You want to go ahead and run that to drain. So about that first 10 or 20 liters. Once you've completed that, you can connect this back up to your tank, and it'll be flushed, the system will be flushed through, and you'll be ready to go ahead and use the unit at that point. But always remember, before you go ahead and run the unit, you always want to make sure that you put the put your door back on, because you always want to run the unit with the door on. That's back in place. Now you can go ahead and run the unit. And that's how you clean a 5 Stream 3 distillation system. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.